As we all know, CS2 is officially released. And when the release date was sort of announced, I'm sure we all speculated on what may have changed from the beta. And among these thoughts were obviously hopes for a new operation. When the date finally came around and CS2 replaced CSGO in my Steam library, I opened the game and there it was. Pretty much the same thing as the beta. Now I'm not going to hate on this too much because there has been some major gameplay improvements, but I still feel a little let down. Imagine if CS2 released... Thanks, and have fun. You open the game to a surprise new operation. Three maps have been added to the competitive map pool, not affecting Premier. This would also show off the new rank system in competitive, which is where you have a unique rank for each map. They could have gone even further with this and made new skin tiers, where if you get ranked Nova 1 on all of the three new maps, you'd get a tier 1 skin, and then if you got all the ranks to Master Guardian and above, your skin would get upgraded to tier 2, and so on and so forth. I think another cool idea would have been to add some grindy challenges. For example, if they added 10 challenges assigned to each weapon, but made them super super difficult, and then if you completed all of them, you'd get a really nice untradeable skin. Right now the only way to impress people with skins is if you've invested a lot of money into your inventory. But if you saw someone with a tier 5 AK or something, everyone in the server is going to know that that guy's got 100,000 kills, 50,000 headshots, and you get my point. This kind of thing is apparent in games like RuneScape, where people sit and click the same thing for hundreds and sometimes thousands of hours, all just so they can get a cosmetic item. It's for showing off. Now. I understand that Valve's main focus right now is to improve the gameplay, which is completely reasonable. In fact, I'm happy they're focusing on that. Imagine a world where Valve of all companies release a rushed game with a cash grab mentality. That's the day when I'd want to see the world burn. But again, at least a new case would have been sufficient for us. Maybe what I'm wishing for is for Valve to be a bit more progressive with the game. Not on the technical side like the engine and that. But more in terms of modern trends, I guess, like battle passes and such. And I know as soon as I mention a battle pass, everyone's going to be screaming and saying I'm an idiot for suggesting it. A lot of battle passes are done to suck money from your wallet, but some are done really well. I'm going against every rule of Counter-Strike here, but I do play a different game on occasion, Apex Legends. For those who don't know, Apex is a battle royale game, and to be honest, it's pretty good. It's no Counter-Strike. But Apex keeps it fresh by doing things like changing the map rotation, adding new weapons, having a well-balanced battle pass, and constantly adding new things to grind for. If Valve did something similar to this in CS2, it would be so refreshing. I don't want people to think I'm asking for Valve to change the competitive side of the game. I mainly play the competitive side of the game, so trust me, I understand how disgusted we'd all be if there was another RA incident. The fact that competitive is sort of taking a backseat now that Premiere is more refined. A lot of space has been opened for Valve to put new ideas into play, whether it's new maps or a new weapon they want to test. The only problem is that Counter Strike's a classic game. There's no point in adding a new piece to a chessboard because it's already perfectly balanced, like Counter Strike. Again, right now Valve's focus is probably on refining the gameplay, as it should be. But I can't help but wonder and wish for something new that really grips me in. Because even though I'm a Counter-Strike lover, I do like new things. But who knows, maybe Valve are working on a new operation right now. Maybe Gabe Newell is watching this video as we speak and writing down my ideas. Probably not. But yeah, I'm going to extend this outro a bit, which is something I don't usually do. Most of the time I just end it abroad. No, I'm messing. I have done some research into my demographic recently, aka you the viewer, and first of all I've realised that it's just the boys watching, so that's good to know, and a lot of you fellas aren't actually subscribed, which is totally fine by the way, no need to feel bad or anything, but uh, you know, it's there, and I just thought I'd remind you, but, um, 